Hi, this is Dosbox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Death Knights of Kryn. Okay, we've finished up just about everything inside Teref. Now, on the other side of this door, there's an encounter that mentions something about the Dread Wolf, so I'm not sure if it's going to take place or not, because we did defeat the Dread Wolf back at the Dragon Pit. But let's find out whether they've changed the script or not. Skomp says, we part ways here. I must continue on foot as best I can. Thanks and good luck. Okay, it doesn't have the Dreadwolf killing Skomp's boar, but Skomp's boar is dead anyway. For, by some unknown age. So, yeah, we'll pick it up. I believe there's a cook not far away who could use it. A dwarf stirs a steaming pot. His eyes grow large. Boar meat? How I misjudged you! Food enough for the whole village! Here, a gift! Use it well! And this should be a short sword plus two. Which isn't as good a weapon as a lot of the ones that, well, basically, I think I've pretty much got better weapons already. But, hey, it's the thought that counts. I think those are just quarter staffs plus one, I hope. So we'll take the short sword. And you leave. And we'll save that. And then it's about time to leave Tereth. I mean, there's trapped buildings that we could investigate, but we don't really have to. We've taken care of what plot there was here. Yes. No, we don't enter. Now, the next side quest area is here in Throttle. However, I think I want to take the party back to Sekos, sell off the magical gear, buy more arrows and darts, and then come back here. So I'm going to pause the recording while I get that done, and we'll be back when we're ready to go into Throttle. So just a sec. And we're back. Yeah, we went to Seiko, sold off stuff, bought more arrows and darts, and we're now back and ready to enter Throttle Keep. So, let's go in. There isn't going to be quite as much to Throttle Keep this time as there was before. There's no temple, there's no catacombs, just the outer area. A priest of Takisa stands before you. I am Lesseter, ruler of this keep. Prepare for your induction into Soth's undead army. Struggle or submit, it will make no difference. What do you do? Attack! An unfortunate, though entertaining decision. Lesseter retreats to the east as his minions attack. And... Yeah, I think we'll just have John switch to a mace. And we'll try to get the whites turned or destroyed. Okay, so we just have the two skeleton warriors, and dispel evil. Yeah, all dragon reminded me. Dispel evil is supposed to be able to destroy skeletal warriors, and I keep forgetting to use it. So let's see if it works. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay. I'm not exactly sure how to spell evil is supposed to work. But somehow it seemed to be working touch range only on Danny herself. We'll try it with the series. Okay. Oh, so that is it. You cast it on yourself and then you attack. That I wasn't aware of. Okay. Okay, so that's how it works. Okay, no wandering monsters, but there's always a chance of interruption. Okay. Well, let's try going east, which may be a big mistake, but I guess we'll find out. Undead dragons ambush you! Yeah, a lot of these rooms are going to seem very familiar from the beginning of Champions of Crim. Hmm. You know... I wonder if... Dis would Dispel Evil work on undead dragons, I wonder? Yeah, Mace of Disruption, best attack against undead dragons. We don't have that. Well, we could try.
let's see if Dispel Evil works on Undead Dragons the way it works on Skeleton Warriors. It's at least worth the attempt. And of course we went into this battle against the dragons without any protect spells up. You would think that the dragon land should work against undead dragons. Oh, cool, it does. Well, Dispel Evil doesn't seem to be having much effect, but fortunately the Dragon Lance works just fine. <sighs> Ceres does not have that many hit points left. Oh, okay. Oh, crap. We do not need this. Okay, guys, just hang on. I'm going to have to restart this battle. Viserys is an elf, so strictly speaking, he cannot be resurrected. So, just a minute. And we're back. Yeah, basically reloaded from the last save. Went to the space just before. Cast protective spells, especially haste. Then Rob, Rob with the Dragonlance was able to take out basically the lot of them. All during his phase of the first round. So... Now we end this battle, no treasure, and we'll save. Uh. Okay. Oh, joy. Well, let's see what this is.
Well, I wonder if the spell evil is still active. Okay, I think the rest is just skeleton warriors. I guess we'll find out the hard way if the spell evil is still working. Ah, sorry. Yep, he does have his magic arrows equipped. Okay. We could see how well the Footman's Dragon Lance works against these guys. Oh. You know, actually, I think I'm going to finish the rest of this battle off camera because I'm getting so sleepy. And I may even end the episode early so I can get to bed. But we'll continue exploring Throttle in the next episode. So we will see you then.